My name is Jim. I'm an emergency medical technician. I'm responsible for the daily operation of our ambulance, responding to emergency medical calls, um, answering medical and trauma calls as they come about, and delivering life-saving interventions as they're needed. My typical day involves uh, coming to work, getting my ambulance prepared for the day. Um, we respond to emergency medical calls or tr medical trauma calls, um, sometimes um, motor vehicle accidents. For example, we pull up to a motor vehicle accident, um, we can see the damage, we jump out, we go to each vehicle, find out how many patients we have, find out what their injuries are, um, and we can base our care based on their injuries. So if we have one with a bad head injury, um, we can bandage them up. If we have another one complaining of any kind of arm pain, leg pain, we can split their arms. Um, we can give them any, any kind of medical care they need emergently and get them to the hospital that they need to go to. On a daily, on a daily basis, our stress level kind of varies. Um, we can go from sitting around with our feet up watching television to a real bad stressful call in a matter of seconds. So um, it's imperative that we keep ourselves kind of in um, up and ready for anything. But as far as stress goes, um, uh, pediatrics, adults, they kind of each have their different stresses. So um, we have to kind of um, we kind of be ready for everything. Work hours, we usually work 12 hours a day. Um, depends if you work night shift or day shift. Um, right now I'm on a seven o'clock truck, so we come in at 7 a.m., work till seven at night. So usually usually two 12 hour days, two to three 12 hour days in a row, and we get a couple days off um, and come back and do it again. So 15 days a month is usually our, our work month. In order to become an e EMT, um, you need to complete, it's usually about a semester um, in college in the emergency medical technician certificate course. Um, along with that, each year you're required to have a certain amount of uh, continuing education hours that keep up your skills. So you might have some pediatric skills you have to, have to train on, adult skills. Um, those are required every year to maintain your license. Some other very important skills you need to have to be an emergency medical technician, you have to have a good attitude. Um, you have to have a willingness to come out and help people. You have to have um, the ability to think on your feet. Um, one split second either way in your decision making really can make a difference in someone's life. So you need to make sure that you have your head on straight. Um, but just come out here and give it all you have is a huge, a huge skill to have. As an EMT, the best parts of your job will be to have a job and a career that you can come to work every day, not have your boss in your, your truck with you looking over your shoulder, and as long as you do the right thing, you honestly will never hear from your boss, unless it's to give you the accolades you deserve. Um, also the camaraderie and the family that I have here at EMS. Um, I, I come to work and I'm with a whole other family um, that we can share laughter with. We can share the fun and excitement of the day. We can also talk to each other if we have problems. So the family environment is truly what makes this job absolute best in the world. Um, worst parts of the job, I'd say the smells. Um, feet, vomit, and stuff like that will uh, definitely definitely get your attention. Um, blood and guts aren't, aren't too bad, but it's the smells. If you have a bad stomach or you're not able to hold it down, that's, that'd make it really tough for you. Any final advice I have for anybody interested in this job is to definitely uh, evaluate yourself. If you have an idea that you want to go out and help people, um, you want to try to make a difference in this crazy world we live in, if you have um, the want to see someone in the worst day of their life and to come in and try to give them um, a hand or just, just talk to them, this is the job for you. One thing to consider. Um, if you're thinking about doing this job, if you want to get into emergency medical medicine, um, to ride along with us. I know every department is different, but in our department, you have to be at least 16 years old with a valid CPR card. You can come ride with us for a day and see what we do um, to try to make that decision for you. You may see some good stuff, you may not, but you'll at least see what we do on a daily basis. Um, also, another, the last final thing, um, this is not a job that you actually take for the pay. So if you think you're gonna come into emergency, med emergency medicine and get rich, this is not the career for you. Um, 
but it's everything else that comes with the, the title and the job that will make you rich in your life.